All right, I've fixed my pan and tilt somewhat, I guess. What I've done is, according to one guy named Bees, I raised my crosshair up to give it more balance on the tilt because it was timing out. I don't know, if, you know the weight of it leaning forward most of the time uh, helped. And then what I did was I added this sidecar and moved the battery that was over here over to this side and I took one battery out. Eventually I'm just going to run my two receivers off of one battery and then have one battery over here. That way it's more balanced. Uh, frees up this center area. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. But it's more balanced and then that helped it from timing out. I actually had it down one more space about another inch down um, and it was working pretty good there. It timed out a couple times in the beginning but then in a 25 minute session it only timed out during the first three minutes and then after that that was it. Um, what we've gone and done is so this is raised and then I uh, separated these two and divided them and took some weight off and I ended up taking uh, this servo out okay this servo got taken out I, I could hear some binding because it wasn't panning uh, without my help to the full uh, movement so what I did was take the gear out and the post up here took that post out and took a uh, Dremel tool and sanded them out the holes out so that there was a little bit more play in um, the hole where the, the pin went through and also where the gear the gear has a uh, pilot hole kind of for an alignment so um, I redid that and then I went in to the computer and redid all the pan angles again and um, went completely to do a 180 south which is going to be my maximum uh, clockwise as well and also I went in and did a um, maximum counterclockwise so I went and did all the pan angles again and what I'm going to show you is that when it's flying in the mode it wants to stay at only for some reason at 180 so if you can see that it'll stay the pan right here will stay at 180 and go to zero and that's it it won't pan over to 270 and it won't pan to like 315 but it'll do it in the sweep on the software and it'll also uh, do it like if I uh, do the software like manually if I go into here and if you were to well I can't go into there because I don't have uh, the recorder hooked up but that's what happens when uh, it's um It's hooked up I can go all 360 in the pan and I can tilt obviously 0 to 90 degrees so let me fly this thing real quick and then we'll see what happens uh, I'll try and set this over here and see if um, you get a good picture of the pan and tilt and its operation So, sorry about this, this is take a little bit, but, okay, so, what we got here, <laughs> okay, so there it is, alright, I'm going to go in, start flying on a simulator,
Get the easy star out. Now, what I'm going to do is get it up into some altitude and then what I'm going to do is show you that it doesn't want to come back to 270 or 315 or anything like that. Okay? So, here I am. It's at like 25 degrees. Now I'm going towards zero which is my zero pan is zero north okay so now here it comes see now it goes right when I went past the zero it went right to to 180 I don't know why it did that now I'm flying the plane on the simulator way past out to like 270 degrees past 270 you know coming into 240 um, but on the software or on the simulator screen I mean I should be like I'm way out here See, the plane's way out here and the thing's still saying like 180. Okay? So, I mean, it should be, uh, but see now, as soon as I get into the 180 range, it starts going. Okay? It starts moving. But then, watch this. I'll hit in, return to home. We'll hit the return to home. See, and it's over here, and it's saying 86, 82. So I'm starting to come around from the east. Okay, like the plane is sweeping from the east. And it's starting to come around towards more towards the north, which would, say, be your runway. And eventually, okay, the plane, the plane's coming up over top. All right. And let's see, it's over the top now. And see, now it says 180, and look, it stopped. The thing is stopped. I'm over at 270. I don't know why it's not going over there, but uh, beat a couple times now, it's going back to 180. So I don't know if that was just a servo timeout or what, but it keeps on going back to 180 and the zero only. Let's see when it when the plane starts flying into the zero area, you'll see it'll spin around to the north. So now it's spun around to the north, and that's zero pan. Now I'll turn the plane heading west. And I'll go past as soon as I go past the zero degrees north, it goes right to 180. So, if anyone knows uh, how to fix that, uh, write it down, or, uh, you know, submit a comment, and I appreciate it, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.